Okay, detailing time on this uh, build or kit build. Um, I'm all for detail and adding little bits on to make it my own and to bring up the standard of uh, what we see on the ready to run market today. Um, I've still got to add some root discs uh, to the loco, which we done probably last thing. I'm hopefully going to take it to uh, a club fun run uh, next week on the 10th to give it uh, a little run and stretch its legs. But uh, on this video I'm going to show you some little details uh, which I've added. Um, as I've shown you before I've added some copper uh, wire to the uh, cylinders to make the drain cocks. And also there's some pipe work around the steps as well, which I've done with this uh, slightly thicker copper wire just there. And I've bent it into shape, as you can see here. I've drilled uh, two holes under the running plates to slot the tops in. And uh, the end of the other, uh, the second piece of wire is actually soldered to the other and glued in place behind the step. Uh, this is one which hasn't been fitted yet. This will go on the other side because it has exactly the identical uh, pipe work on the other side uh, behind the step. And you can see here, soldered uh, just on the bottom there. And uh, I've got the extension parts coming out the top to fit into the two holes under the running plate. Uh, this took me probably about uh, half an hour to do and solder up and get it together and also to drill the holes etc and work out how it fits um, but generally it's pretty much uh, there and ready to stick in um, and you can see there uh, the first one already stuck in and hopefully I say you know hopefully I'll have this done by the end of this week so it's ready for next week uh, the plates I have been informed are going in this week to be done so hopefully early next week they should be here hopefully um, anyway I'll make some videos hopefully if I do get out to the club on Wednesday and uh, I'll add them to the end of this video okay just showing you the inside of the cab just before uh, fitting of the, uh, the back head uh, you might just be able to make out I've put in the plastic over the windows uh, so the windows are now glazed. Uh, the back head will be glued over the top of these to hold them in position. It's been glued in place with uh, super glue gel, uh, which the back head will also be glued into place with. So this is the final part of the uh, U-Class uh, restoration job. <coughs> As you can see, it's pretty much complete. Um, I'll take you through um, what, what's happened since last time uh, I took a video. It's quite a long time ago now because I haven't really gotten around to uh, finishing part 6. So this is the end of part 6 really which I'm recording now. Um, I'll just take you back into the cab which I think is where I left it last time and show you all the changes that have uh, been uh, done and also things that have been added. Okay in the cab uh, you can see um, the uh, back head has been added all painted up with all the uh, bra um, copper pipe work all added. Um, you may or may not be able to see I've also added the windows uh, to the front of the cab. Um, but yes this uh, the back head was glued in with uh, a spot of super glue um, around the base and around the back as it uh, has a sort of hollowed out uh, back piece so the motor can fit in just into the back of it. You can also see I've added some crew there, um, one with uh, a shovel and one with his hand on the uh, reverser on the right. Um, but generally this has all been sorted out and glued together. Um, Nicely finished off the job, sadly can't see it very well on uh, this video due to the extra light I'm having to uh, add as you can't really see it otherwise. But um, yeah, this is uh, one part which is now complete and uh, uh, much better than it was before. 
also mentioned in the last video was the uh, capside plate. Uh, it actually arrived a couple of weeks after I uh, filmed the last parts of the uh, uh, the cab. Uh, this um, capside plate was done by um, Narrow Planet to uh, uh, do plates for the uh, narrow gauge locos um, which are out there and they're very very helpful and very um, uh, do plates at a very reasonable price as well. I think this one cost me four pounds and a little bit for postage, um, but it's <coughs> certainly um, you know worth the money doing little extra bits and pieces for your uh, locos. It always adds a bit of uh, extra um, detail and also uh, uh, something that um, finishes off the loco quite nicely. I've uh, still got to line around this one because uh, it has a black and uh, white ring around the outside which I'll probably get around to eventually but I uh, haven't managed to do it yet um, but um, that's another little uh, addition that uh, uh, finishes off this loco quite nicely Now on the tender side of things I've also added some uh, real coal into the tender there as well uh, which uh, also adds a bit, a bit of uh, realism instead of that moulded plastic stuff which uh, I've nearly pretty much covered over on all my uh, models now uh, with real coal. It's just basically a little bit of uh, a light layer of PVA uh, glue with some uh, coal broken down and sprinkled on top. Um, but it finishes off quite nicely and uh, hopefully now it's all finished I'll take it to the uh, my, well, my local club and give it a run. It's been on the rolling road several times checking things over, making sure everything was working okay. Um, but uh, in the next uh, few days, and also in the next few videos you'll probably see after this, uh, will be uh, this loco on a test run. Um, you can see uh, the uh, H2 Atlantic behind it as well. And also just over in the uh, left corner there, the P Green of the uh, Adams Radio, which was uh, Dean Siding's kit, which has been completed as well. I've also started doing uh, wagon kits for people as well to uh, uh, raise a little bit more money for the uh, layout because it's starting to get expensive uh, with remodeling the um, East Grinstead side of the uh, layout to um, build more sidings and a sort of exchange siding area, fiddle yard area. So if anyone uh, does come round and play trains or run trains then uh, there is somewhere uh, for them to store their stock or locos or just my extra stock which I seem to be running out of room on my layout quite rapidly. Um, but yes I've got a huge rebuilding job on my layout going on at the moment which uh, uh, if anyone reads the blog on the website or uh, is a member of the Facebook group uh, you'll see all about that in there as well. I'm venturing into 3D printing at the moment as well, uh, printing various uh, bits and pieces for the station, as well as the, the main project, the massive project, which has been going on for months now, of um, 3D printed metropolitan coaches. Uh, I'm not quite sure how much they're going to be yet, but when I do finally get round to printing any, um, then I'll let you know on the blog or on the video. Um, but hopefully in the next few weeks there'll be a few uh, new model videos coming out as well as um, a few main nine steam um, videos. I've also got a small announcement as well on this video that I will be at the Bluebell Railway on Saturday uh, the 29th of June for their model railway exhibition as well as this I'll be bringing a few low codes down as well so they'll be appearing on platform one at Horse to Keynes, or Keynes, however way you pronounce it. And um, <coughs> yes, I'll be there with a couple of locos on Denton Road, uh, which is uh, Steve's layout, uh, who I'm a, uh, a friend with uh, in the model railway community. So hopefully you'll see uh, an H class, a P class, and hopefully a Terrier um, on his layout, uh, all of which... Uh, 
Shall be mine. In fact, there'll be a, a small mini bluebell gala on his layout by the sounds of it. So, uh, if you're going this weekend, take a look. Uh, I should be around on Saturday. It's Saturday only. I'm down there. So, uh, uh, if you want to come and see some models, then uh, or some of my models and some of Steve's as well, uh, pop down to the bluebell platform one at Horsted Canes, and uh, hopefully we'll see you there.